Hey, and welcome to 996 The Howl for the Uninitiated. This is an unedited YouTube vlog discussing everything Arizona Coyotes. Onward, we move forward. Um, the Coyotes, you know, a lot of big changes are going to happen to the roster, but first you need a new general manager with the debacle of John Chaika, the infamous John Chaika, as I'm going to... <laughs> as I'm going to refer to him now, is uh, the infamous John Chaika. My homeboy is now infamous and out on the run. So who would I choose? To, if you want to stop the video 40 seconds in, go ahead. Steve Sullivan. I want Steve Sullivan to be the next Coyotes general manager. He's been with the team for four years as the assistant general manager to John Chaika. He built the Tucson Roadrunners into a perennial playoff contending team. The Roadrunners have won two division championships in the past three seasons. And, uh, you know, an expansion, he got inherited an expansion team in the Tucson Roadrunners um, with the help of John Chaika and the whole scouting department of the Coyotes. They've drafted well and they've put a competitive team on the ice. And the Tucson Roadrunners were rolling this year. And then the pandemic hit. And uh, fortunately, they won the Pacific Division title, but I'm sure they would have made a bigger splash. In the playoffs, at the American Hockey League playoffs, did continue. But Steve Solomon, he got he started out as a developmental coach in those Don Maloney years, and then he got promoted to director of player development, and then yes, became the assistant GM, like I mentioned, for John Chaika. Steve, I've been reading a lot of articles about Steve Sullivan. He says he's been involved in almost every major trade the Coyotes have made. He knows the Coyotes team inside and out. He knows if you got the general manager position, he knows which moves to make to make this team better, which which gave me so much confidence in, in him when I read that sentence and those words came out of his mouth. But also, you know, Steve Sullivan, um, he wants to be a playoff contending team. He wants to be a consistent playoff contending team. He said that, and he's very glad to see the team finally contend for the playoffs. And to move on from here, he wants to continue to be a playoff contender and move forward and take that next step, which is what I want. This team is there. Last season, they missed the playoffs by two points. This season, due to unprecedented circumstances, they managed to win their qualifying, qualifying, qualifying round and made the playoffs, the round of 16. So they made that first step. It's time to continue to make the next steps forward. No mention of rebuilds. Obviously, retooling is not a scary word because there's a lot of veteran aging players on this team with huge cap hits that will obviously be moved, whether it's now, this offseason, or throughout the season, maybe at the trade deadline. But he wants to continue to contend. He's very happy that where the Coyotes are right now, but he knows he needs to make that next step. He's got to figure out which restricted free agents to sign, whether he signs Taylor Hall, whether Taylor Hall, Hall walks or not. But I believe in Steve Sullivan. He was saying all the right things, knows the team inside and out, and he wants a job. He's been with the team for four years. He's got a lot of American Hockey League experience being a GM there. And if the team was going to go for an inexperienced GM, it, I would choose Sullivan. There's names thrown around like Sean Burke and Shane Doan. But they're too inexperienced for me, and if you're going to go that inexperienced route, might as well go with Steve Sullivan, because at least he has some experience. If you're not, if you're going to go the veteran GM route, a lot of names have been thrown around. Some interesting and attractive names like Ray Shiro and Ron Hextall and least palatable names like Peter Shirelli, which I won't even give him a minute of spotlight in this video. So if you're going to go for inexperience, I would go Steve Sullivan. Uh, the team is facing financial troubles. Obviously, a lot of organizations are during these unprecedented COVID-19 times. They had to lay off a huge bunch of people in the Coyotes organization. So I would expect the owners to go for a cheaper option, um, not so much cheap out, but Steve Sullivan is not gonna demand or command so much money as opposed to a Ray Shiro or a Ron Hextall who have the resumes to command more money. So if you're going to go the cheap and experienced route, like I mentioned, I would choose Steve Sullivan 100% of the time. Wouldn't go Shane Doan. He has been doing nothing in terms of team management since he retired. Great guy. Maybe involve him in some other role or maybe you know team him up with Steve Sullivan. Make Steve Sullivan be the reins and give Shane Doan to Tucson Roadrunners. I'd be okay with that. Sean Burke has been a Montreal Canadian scout 
So that's been his that's been his most recent job. But he also was a general manager for the Canadian hockey team in the 2018 Winter Olympics, where the Canadians won bronze. Obviously, no NHL players went to those Olympics, so it was kind of a, a wash. But that's his only team management experience. Sean Burke has. Ray Shiro, I would love Ray Shiro as a GM. If the Cowboys could get Ray Shiro, I'd be happy. He's drafted tremendously well with the Pittsburgh Penguins. He drafted Brendan Rust, Jake Gensel, uh, and their two goalies in Murray and Jari. And he made unbelievable trades as a general manager for the New Jersey Devils, getting P.K. Subban, getting Sammy Vatanen, and Taylor Hall. So some connection there. You know, the guy who traded for Taylor Hall, that one-for-one one Adam Larson trade for Hall, could be on the Coyotes where Hall um, is looking to sign or looking to move on from the Coyotes. So a pretty interesting connection and angle over there. I would love Ray Shearer on this team. The other veteran GM, like I aforementioned, was Ron Hextall, who spent time with the Philadelphia Flyers, who drafted tremendously well as well. Drafting Provorov, Konechny, Carter Hart and uh, Morgan Frost, who I believe was a teammate of Barrett Hayden. So Ron Hextall, you know, he had a pretty um, good time with the Philadelphia Flyers. I think the Flyers organization wanted to move on and make some trades in the front office and behind the bench in hiring uh, Elaine Vigneault. So I would appreciate both Ron Hextall and Ray Shiro. I'd prefer Ray Shiro. But ultimately, my choice would be Sullivan. I want someone who knows a team inside and out. I want it. I want a person who is intimate with these players, who knows already what to do with the drafts coming up in a month and a half. I mean, I don't want a learning period for this new GM. You know, let's say you get Ray Shiro. He has to learn about the team. Who is the untouchables? Who is the core? Um, which contracts do I move? Does he make a, a rational decision right away? With Steve Sullivan, it's going to be a rational, logical calm move that he makes because he knows he wants to make the team better wants to make the team contend he knows the players habits he knows how they act he could talk with rick talkett he's got a good relationship an existing relationship with rick talkett already existing you know that relationship doesn't need to be created with a new gm so you know i i mean it's all great points to hire steve sullivan he's cheap been with the team has built a contender in the tucson roadrunners knows the players knows the coach knows the system well the new coach will ha- i mean the new gm will have to talk to rick talking and what style of play rick talking wants to put on the ice but even then maybe steve sullivan has ideas for a new coach too so i would stick with steve sullivan he's been around the team for so long i trust him he's learned a lot under john under john chica hopefully not the cheating and the quitting part of john chica but uh that's that's who I'm going to go with. I hope the Cowboys go for Steve Sullivan. It's going to be the decision should be made in a couple weeks. They've already started their search this week or last week. So buckle up and we'll see what happens. But uh, that's it for me. Thanks for watching and thank you for your support.